Hello everyone and welcome to the August edition of WebEx Rewind. If you're new here, WebEx Rewind is a quick hits show designed to highlight WebEx features released this month that we know you'll love. First up, you can now change the font size for messages. To change your font size, go to the Accessibility tab on your settings if you're on a Windows or Preferences on a Mac, and you can change the font size to your liking. You can always change it back again anytime. Next up is a feature that I know a lot of us are super excited about. Have you ever been in a space with a ton of people and felt reluctant to reply to a message? Well, now you can reply directly to that author in a direct private message. Our third feature is great when you're on a phone call with someone who's not using the WebEx app and they're in a noisy location. So think a busy airport, cafe, you get the drill. Now, even if the other person isn't using WebEx, you can suppress remote noise during the call. I know this is a great feature for a lot of us who take calls and make calls on the go. Our fourth feature is exclusively for the Apple iPad. If you're on a WebEx meeting and you're on your iPad and let's say you're moving around, you can now turn on center stage so your camera automatically pans to keep you and anyone with you in frame. You can turn center stage on or off from the options in your self view video or from the settings in your iPad. Our final feature is right to left language support for Arabic and Hebrew in closed captions. When you select Arabic or Hebrew for closed captions, you'll see the right to left text direction in the closed captions box and the captions and highlights panel, regardless of your language setting in the WebEx app. Thanks for watching this month's Rewind. We hope you love these features and catch us back next month for the next episode. Bye.